Australia as a member of the Australian Technology Network group of universities in Australia and therefore we have a long cultural history of applying technology both sustainably and innovatively to our core business of teaching and research. So we're doing two major things uh, in that area. One, one is on campus and one is off campus. So the off campus uh, initiative is that we've recently completed a very successful project building what we think of as a world-class uh, personal learning environment for our students which gives them uh, we, we give them a technology mediated environment to undertake uh, almost all aspects of their study at University of South Australia. The piece we're doing on campus is that we are about to open uh, a major new learning centre called the Jeffrey Smart building at our city campus. We believe it's a unique uh, building in Australia in that it will bring together for the first time uh, library services information technology services and all other student services into to one environment, one physical environment for students. We've got to make sure our digital strategy is agile enough to get the rapidly changing technology in the hands of people who've got the business problem. Um, in a commercial sense we probably mean probably means we've got to be faster to market. Um, in doing that, but we've also got to do it in a, because we're a big institution, we've got to do it in a scalable and robust manner. So while on the one hand being robust and scalable and on the other hand being agile, um, we've got to try and find the optimum blend of that. And all of that leads to probably reconceptualising how we deliver technology services uh, so that we are making much more effective use of partnering. Um, for example, that partnering might be within the institution with business, with our business colleagues, it might be with vendors, it might be with third parties, it might be with organisations like Arnet where, where we might not be providing much of the technology or much of the solution but we're in fact engaging others to provide that solution. A good example, for, for instance, in the partnering uh, recently is where um, in the National Research Network project where UniSA as the lead agent has worked uh, in partnership with Arnet to deliver uh, what is a staggering array of um, enhancements to, to the Australian Academic Research Network. Increasingly all organisations, um, big and small, need to be able to analyse the data they've got to um, service their customers. So, so actually in, in first answering that question, um, UniSA as a sort of an educator of the professions is responding to the need to provide that sort of expertise to organisations and uh, just recently we've announced a suite of programs um, including a Master of Data Science which is aimed at providing some expertise uh, aimed at giving uh, people expertise to go into uh, jobs such as data scientist or business analyst. That we recently held uh, a major crowdsourcing uh, initiative. We have a very new and uh, innovative vice chancellor and one of the first things he wanted to do was connect with uh, our customers, our students, connect with our staff and connect with our uh, community. And so over a period of 38 hours, it was a it was a 38 hour block, it was quite exhausting but exciting at the same time. We had uh, over 8,000 people from 56 countries contributing to what was really an online uh, conversation, if you like, uh, something that's never been done in it's never been done in Australia and it's never been done in a university anywhere in the world. Um, and we ended up with about 18,000 posts uh, in that online environment of ideas and, and suggestions that were raised. And so in analysing all of that data, we've used that Vice Chancellor's used that very much to drive uh, the university's new strategy. The university is quite lucky in a way in that um, we've been in, into the data warehousing business now for more than a decade and therefore the university has ready access to almost all of its corporate data. So we're actually very used to mining data and using that data to both improve the operation of the university, whether that's in teaching or research, but also to improve the student experience. 
To be honest, I think it's still the rapid changes in consumer technology. Uh, when you think that all of that's happening in the hands of our key customer, which are students, um, they now have, uh, you know, on average about three devices, uh, three internet capable devices that they will bring on campus. Um, they very much um, do not separate their uh, social life from their work life, from their education life, and they, they actually have a very sort of contiguous sort of technology environment themselves, and they bring that onto campus. And I use I use the phrase with um, within the university of um, we need to meet them on their device, um, and that's what they're looking for. They're not looking. I don't believe they're looking for a device to be provided for them. They're looking to be able to come into the university and plug in uh, to the university and take advantage of those services. So the drivers for me are that we are going to have to continually communicate with students about what it is and what they need and continue to innovate the services that we've got to make sure we're actually delivering what they need.